वेलकम टू पावर प्लेटफॉर्म ए आई बिल्डर सीरीज फॉर प्रडिक्शन मॉडल माई सेल्फ त्रुविन शाह एंड यू आर वॉचिंग द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस सीरीज ड्यूरिंग दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन प्रिपेयर द सी डी एस मॉडल फॉर अवर प्रडिक्शन मॉडल इन द अर्लियर सेशन वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट ओवर व्यू ऑफ प्रडिक्शन मॉडल एंड रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वन ऑफ द थिएटर डेटा so if you haven't visited that video so far links are available in the description box so go ahead with my first video now let's get started to build with this cds model now head over to my laptop so this is my sample data which i have added in one of the excel spreadsheet this is the uh, one year data for one of the theater when they are predicting that whether the pre uh, people are going for a movie or not they have some patterns based on holiday weekday and is working day parameter and based on that they have observed there is a possibility of going for a movie or not with this f column now what we need to do is we need to use we need to train our ai model based on this data and using this as a historical pattern we want to predict our future data right so now let me show you the first step to building a cds model for our data all right so uh, here you can see that i have this much of historical data so i have a very large data over here for throughout the entire for each individual day over here and prediction for each individual day now in my cds i have left few column here as a blank to check whether it predicts the data properly or not let's see and here also i in the top i have few columns as a blank to predict the data based on this historical data right now let me uh, show you the now let me show you the procedure to building the cds data model let's get started first of all go to your power apps first of all you need to build the cds model for that go to the data section under that go to the entities you have an option that get data note one thing over here we need to upload our file to the one drive location because at this moment for excel we need to provide the one drive path so i already uploaded my file to the one drive location click on this excel we need to provide the file path over here browse one drive click on the prediction model and i uploaded this file over here just click on that file and click on open click on next it is opening this power query window for us this is the similar type of power bi type of structure it is showing us the raw data over here click on transform data now we need to promote our first row as a header use first row as header now make sure here one thing we need to make our primary key column as a text column for the prediction model now we need to click on next button now from this option click on load new entity now we can add, and uh, we want to change the name of our entity i am adding the name of my entity model as movie analysis dev so i am adding movie analysis dev just check on this option that delete row that no longer exist in the query output from here we need to select our primary key so we just select the serial number as a primary key from here now you just need to check the destination field type over here that whether it detected properly or not now make sure that your source column and destination field data types detected properly over here now click on the next option so my uh, so my cds model name is movie analysis dev now here we have two options refresh manually or refresh automatically once you select refresh automatically it will ask for refresh 
how much interval so interval can be anything from here so currently I am not setting any interval from here but based on your requirement you can set I want to set this as refresh manually so I am selecting refresh manually and let's click on create option this will take some time it's depend on your data so yes my entity has been created successfully and you can see that movie analysis day 01 has been created over here successfully so hope this is clear for you now this is how we can create our CDS data model for prediction AI builder in my next session we are going to talk about how we can use this entities model that we have created to our prediction AI model also we will train and deploy our model in the next session so stay connected with me with my next session if you have any question related to this topic you can email me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can whatsapp me on plus 919537981467 stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this form this will be redirecting you to this link and fill the form so you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye